Six years after a devastating crash that ended with motorcyclists losing limbs and the driver's daughter losing her life, today the driver of the car, Marianne O'Quinn, learned she will spend just 10 months in jail. Here's News 13's Annalisa Pardo with details. Well, it was an emotional day in virtual court from both the defendant and victims. Even Judge Brett Loveless acknowledging the heartbreaking and tragic nature of the crash. The day of the crash, we went from celebrating our five-year wedding anniversary, surrounded by friends, to saying our goodbyes to each other in a ditch. Today in court, Jeremy and Lauren Waller shared how their lives changed forever on August 6, 2016. When Marianne O'Quinn, driving 88 in a 55 zone, veered into oncoming traffic and hit the Wallerts and their friends, who were all on motorcycles. There were motorcycles and parts scattered across the road and ditch, bones and blood lying in the road, and my foot being kept cold on ice. The Wallerts now both have prosthetics. The crash also killed O'Quinn's own teenage daughter. O'Quinn pled guilty earlier this year to careless driving and four counts of aggravated battery, all misdemeanors. Today, she was in tears. Maybe one day the Wallers can forgive me, but until then, I am so sorry that, that this has happened to you. I am so sorry. Her attorney wanted leniency, arguing O'Quinn has no criminal history, has complied with pretrial services, and has to live with what she did to her daughter. She's received one of the greatest punishment any parent could, could possibly go through also. And that's the loss of, your, of a child. The Wallards highlighted their new normal during the last six years, including expensive and painful medical challenges, relying on their children for simple household chores and PTSD. Every time my husband or children leave the house, I spend the entire time worrying that they will be killed in a car crash. You folks didn't deserve this, and uh, it's, it's awful to hear about it, and I'm incredibly sorry. Judge Brett Loveless sentenced O'Quinn to 10 months in jail. I would like to highlight the fact that no matter what sentence the court fashions, um, it won't change what happened to you folks. Um, I have to consider her circumstances. In a phone call after today's sentencing, the Wallerts told me they were hoping for more time, but that she did get more time than they expected. They say they're just happy she will spend some time behind bars. Back to you. All right, thank you, Annalisa. We have the Wallert's full response to the sentencing posted with this story on krqe.com.